Hey guys, Adam here, and today I have a walkthrough of a very neat application called SM Smart. This was developed by a few fellow students at Duke University and is available for free in the Android Marketplace. An Android app that allows you to access your favorite applications without using any data or Wi-Fi. And the way we do that is through SMS. So this is SM Smart here. It's currently marked as in beta, as you can see, but it's actually fully functioning. So the reason there's a beta tag is simply because the developers are going to incorporate more functionality to the already existing functionality. Um, but for now, the application is fully functioning. So as you guys just heard from Alan, who's one of the developers of SM Smart, the coolest part about this application is that it works without mobile data or Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and turn those both off. As you guys can see, they're now both off and we can still use the application. I'm going to show you guys the functionality in just a second, but basically what I did here is I used one of the features and I'm going to show you guys the back end of how it works. Basically in your messages app, you will see a thread with SM Smart, and this is how it works. You send them a text message and they send you a text message back and that's how the actual application works. It works just through text messages and no data required. So this is the simple user interface to SM Smart. As you can see, it's color coded with eight different functions. We have search, maps, news, Wikipedia, places, stocks, feedback, and Twitter. Um, each of them uses a different API and I'm going to show you guys all of them because they're all pretty neat. So first up is search. So search uses the Bing API and allows you to search whatever you want and it gives you limited results from Bing. So you type in dog and you can basically get a little bit of information from each of the Bing uh, limited data results. Currently you cannot click on one of these to access the website but Maybe that'll come in a future update. Next up is Maps, which uses the Google Maps API. I'm actually going to go into Places and show you how that links with Maps. So if I go into Places and I type, let's just say Pizza, we're looking for Pizza. Uh, we click on that and it gives all the closest results for Places. Then you can click on one. So let's just go to Pizzeria Toro. We click on that. We can either call or get directions. So if we click directions, it'll actually open within the application in the maps functionality we click search and SM Smart now gave us the directions to that location. So next up, let's go into news. This uses the at breaking news Twitter account, which has a bunch of different types of news. It sorts them into different types of news. So we have general, sports, entertainment. Next up is Wikipedia, which allows you to access different Wikipedia articles without data or Wi-Fi. So here's Duke University and there's the basic information from Wikipedia. Next up is places which we already went through. You can just type in different types of places like food or pizza, entertainment and find what's close to you. Stocks uses the Yahoo Finance API to allow you to access different stock results. So we'll go to the Apple stock and we can see that Apple is down today and you just get all that information. You can refresh whenever you want and that is stocks message sent to SM Smart Server, and there's your stock information. The final feature is Twitter, which I will show you guys through my Twitter account, allows you to access both the timeline and to tweet. So if we refresh, you'll see that this was actually my Twitter timeline, as it allows you to log into your Twitter account for the first time when you click on the application. It's actually refreshed now, and so there's my Twitter feed, and then I can tweet if I want. So I'm gonna tweet, and I'll show you guys that it actually shows up on my Twitter account. Hello, my name is Adam, and this is a test of SM Smart. Shows you how many characters are remaining, and I'll show you guys that this actually goes to my Twitter account. So those are the current seven functions of SM Smart Beta. Then, of course, there's feedback, which if you guys want, you can uh, let the developers know what you think about the application, any problems you might have experienced, because it is still in beta. So, anyways, guys, that is SM Smart. It allows you to access different data. Without data, you don't need Wi-Fi, you don't need mobile data, you just need to be able to have a text messaging plan. Let me know what you think about the application in the comment section below, and thanks a lot for watching.